A monstrous PC gaming rig is far from cheap, but if you can afford it, boy is it worth the investment. Freed from the shackles of static and dated console hardware, games on PC can look absolutely stellar, and when they go all out to get the most out of the best hardware available on the market, they can be a real visual treat. In this feature, we will look at 15 such games. Metro Exodus. At the time of its release, every single Metro game has boasted phenomenal visuals, to the extent that even 2010's Metro 2033 still looks great, and last year's Metro Exodus upheld that proud tradition, requiring GE Force GTX 1070 or an RTX 2060 or an AMD RX Vega 56 for the highest possible settings, and with full-blown support for ray tracing, Metro Exodus is by far one of the best-looking games you can play on PC right now. Forza Horizon 4. Forza games, be it Motorsport or Horizon, always strive for very high standards from a visual standpoint, and Playground Games' Forza Horizon 4 is probably the best looking game the series has ever delivered. Even playing on an Xbox One S, you can see how sharp and detailed every nook and cranny of this open world racer is, but playing it on Mac settings on a PC that can handle it is an experience that defies description. Red Dead Redemption 2. Even when it came out on consoles in 2018, Red Dead Redemption 2's visual fidelity was mind-blowing, and the prospect of how the game would look on PCs was a salivating one even then. And even though the open-world game's PC launch was not one without issues, purely from a visual perspective, you can't help but be amazed at the pure wizardry on display here. Rockstar poured their blood, sweat, and tears into this game, and it is instantly apparent the moment you lay eyes on the ridiculous level of detail and near photorealism that one can see in Red Dead 2 on PC. Microsoft Flight Simulator did we say photorealism? It's something that games have been chasing for years, and probably will continue to chase for some time to come, but honestly it's hard to think of a single game that's come as close to that goal as the upcoming Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes, upcoming is the operative word here, but as anyone who's played the game's alpha would tell you, the game is already looking spectacular. It's hard to imagine what level it will be at when it releases in full, if all goes well that is. It's not surprising in light of all this that Microsoft Flight Simulator's recommended system requirements are as daunting as they are. Gears 5 Gears 5 continued the trend of Gears of War games being some of the best looking titles available at the time of their release. From the character models to the animations, from frigid wastelands to red deserts, it displayed a ridiculous level of detail and polished constantly. And those details popped that much more on PC. Make no mistake, Gears 5 looked excellent even on minimum settings, but on max settings, it really was something else. Project Cars 2 for whatever reason, the racing simulator genre is brimming with games that stand as some of the best technical achievements in the medium, and Project Cars 2 is definitely one such game. Incredibly realistic vehicle models, sharply detailed environments, and excellent weather effects all bear mentioning. Best of all, unlike its predecessor, Project Cars 2 also managed to maintain a steady frame rate, for the most part, even on max settings, which is obviously hugely important. Grand Theft Auto 5 Red Dead 2 isn't the only massive Rockstar open world game on this list. Though GTA 5 predates the Western epic by five years, it comes surprisingly close to it in terms of visual fidelity. In spite of its PC release being five years old at this point, GTA 5 can be a delight for the eyes on max settings, and the fact that it gives a vast array of graphics options to players is a huge bonus as well. Star Wars Battlefront 2 DICE's games never fail to be at the top of their game as far as their technical aspects and visual fidelity are concerned, and Battlefront 2 was by no means an exception to that rule. Even during the troubled times of its launch and the months afterward, no one could argue that the game didn't look absolutely stunning. You'd think that due to diminishing returns, the difference between Battlefront 2 on a high-end PC and Battlefront 2 on consoles wouldn't be that big, but it really is. Watching the iconic locations, ships, characters, and alien races of Star Wars being realized at this level is something that still takes our breath away. Battlefield 5 Speaking of DICE games that look stellar, currently there really is no other example for that out there than Battlefield 5. From the richly detailed environments to the stunning explosions to the way the game renders things like smoke, Battlefield 5 is a visual showcase through and through. Playing the game with ray tracing enabled, in fact, somehow makes its gorgeous environments even more jaw-dropping. 
Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Even the best of the best PCs can find it incredibly hard to run Deus Ex Mankind Divided at the absolute max settings. Sure, the game looks great even when you're on lower settings, and much of that is thanks to its rich and vibrant art design, but on the highest settings, even the tiniest details such as cloth or the most insignificant assets in the environment or smoke can look stunning. That can occasionally lead to performance issues, but it's definitely worth trying out regardless. Batman Arkham Knight Batman Arkham Knight is one of the most notorious examples of poorly optimized PC ports of major releases, and that poor optimization has a big role to play in how taxing the game could be on most PCs, especially at launch. But credit where credit is due, a lot of that is also because of the game's technical ambitions. The detail in Batman's suit, the excellently realized environments of Gotham, the way things look drenched in the rain, it's a sight to behold. Hell, even after post-release downgrades, the game can still have so many moments that will bowl you over with how good it looks. Hitman 2 Hitman 2 will impress you with its visuals even if you have a decent rig, but if you have an RTX 2080 Ti alongside a good processor, you can experience it in all its glory at the highest possible settings. That means with 4K enabled and its lighting, textures, shadows, filtering, and more in full effect. Add to that the game's support for ray tracing, and what you have on your hands is a proper visual beast. Final Fantasy XV Final Fantasy XV's PC release takes an already excellent looking game and makes it even better. From the game's impressive physics engine to the sheer scale of its world, there's a lot going on here that tech enthusiasts could spend hours talking about. Though an RTX 2080 is well above what the game's recommended requirements stipulate, if you want to play with everything dialed up to max and maintain a steady and solid frame rate while doing so, it is the way to go. Star Citizen Technically, Star Citizen hasn't released yet, but by this point, that technicality is something the game's ever-growing player base has stopped worrying about. Even in its current work-in-progress form, there's a lot to be impressed in Star Citizen, and that stands true for its visuals as well. Though its minimum and recommended requirements won't make your eyes pop out of your skull or anything like that, if you go above and beyond and play the game with everything turned up to max on a monster of a PC, you'll be treated to some of the best graphics in a game on the platform. Assassin's Creed Odyssey Assassin's Creed has often been ambitious with its technical side of things, and though sometimes it stumbles in doing so, like it did with Unity at launch, other times it can succeed in spectacular fashion like it did with Odyssey. A vibrant and beautiful game regardless of what platform you play on, on high-end PCs it's unbelievably good looking. Its recommended 4K requirements make some pretty hefty demands all in all, but as anyone who's played it on those settings will tell you, it all pays off. And that wraps it up. If you like what we are doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to switch on the bell notification icon. That way you will never miss out on any of our videos.